हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ईजी प्रोग्रामिंग आई एम नवीन मिश्रा एंड आई कंटिन्यू टीचिंग यू हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम्स इन सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ फाइल हैंडलिंग विच इंक्लूड स्ट्रीम क्लासेज एज वेल द फाइल हैंडलिंग इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन सी प्लस प्लस इज वेरी डिफरेंट एज कम्पेयर टू फाइल हैंडलिंग इन सी लैंग्वेज इन सी लैंग्वेज वी यूज फाइल पॉइंटर्स बट इन सी प्लस प्लस using stream classes we can implement the file handling before i start this video please do subscribe to my channel and like and share my videos with your friends okay let's start with this video tutorial file handling and stream classes so files in c++ what are files so when i run the program whenever you write a program and uh show and read the output whatever you do in the output is removed as soon as you close the output screen if you want to store this information for the future use then you must save this information in secondary storage such as far disk and floppy disk the output of the program is stored permanently in these storage devices generally a file is a collection of related data items that is a file belongs to a particular record student bank or employee's information the file can be a text file or a binary file uh, that will not be any, create any difference in c language we used file pointers but in c++ language we will use streams so what the file handling will do let's see it with the program uh, i will write a program something like this one when i when i i will run this program this will be your output of the program now before this video before file handling this data is removed as soon as you close this output screen but now using file handling what i will be doing this this information will be stored in files like this one okay so using file handling the output of the program can be stored in the uh, secondary storage using files if you are implementing file handling in a program then you have to follow these steps which will make it quite easy for you guys to understand and implement the file handling so first of all you have to choose the file stream there are three different file streams f stream of stream and f stream you have to pick accordingly then after choosing the file stream you have to open the file there are two ways to open the file in c++ one is using open function and another is using constructor method so this is the example here of stream f1 i have created an object for right purpose then i can use this f1.open and pass the file name in these double quotes or i can combine these two line using this way and the file name can be mentioned alongside the object name this method is called the constructor method so this is the constructor method and this is the uh, open method once you open the file you can read or write the data in your file using the various functions like f get c f put as f read f write once reading or writing you must close the file to close the file we use close function so these are the steps that you have to follow okay now streams so there are generally three stream classes in c++ which are if stream prof stream and f stream if stream i here i stands for input and f stands for file input file stream okay so if stream provides input file stream if you are reading the data from the files then you will use if stream you cannot write the data in the file using if stream so this opens the file in the input mode by default and it this class have an inbuilt functions like these get get line read seek g and tell g using these functions you can read the data from the files the next stream is off stream using if stream you can input whereas using off stream you can output the data in the file stream so if stream is used for read data whereas off stream is used to write the data in the files it opens the file in the input mode whereas it opens the file in the output mode and the functions included in this off stream are put put line write seek p and tell p the next is f stream the f stream is capable of reading as well as writing the data simultaneously in the file so by default it opens the file for the input mode but you can change it accordingly as per your requirement so these are the three stream classes available in c++ okay uh 
how the stream works in C++. So let me, uh, let me teach you graphically how these stream classes work. Stream generally called the flow. So stream of water like flow of water, stream of data is considered by the C++ and using these streams the data is transferred from one location to another. Now let's say you have written a program in C++. Previously when you use C out and C in, using control stream, let's say this is the stream, the data is passed from C from program to the output screen. Okay, and the same way using C in you can read the data from here. So console stream is responsible for reading or writing data into the output screen. But using file stream, you can read or write data from the C++ file into a file which is stored in the secondary storage. So streams are here the stream is the uh, flow of data from program to uh, secondary storage files or from program to output storage. Okay, output screen. Now let's start with writing data in files. So if you want to write the data in the file, you have to open it for the using off stream. And you can use the uh, C out operators to store the data in the file. So let's say if you have opened the file using the object name f1 and using this f1 and these arrow operators you can put the value in the file okay or you can use the functions like put line and put once you write the data in the file you must close the file using close method okay now make sure that if you are opening a file for write data and the file does not exist or have not been created by the user it will automatically be created by the uh, by the off stream. So off stream will create the file if it does not exist in the file. But if the file exists in the secondary memory, the old contents will be removed and file will be opened. So you have to make sure that if you open the file for off stream, there are no previous contents stored in the file. If it exists, then this data will be lost. So let's do the program here. So program of writing data. I have written this program. You have to include a header file named fstream for writing data in the file. Uh, what I want to do is I want to store the student information include roll number name and class. So I have created the object of offstream class here in the ninth line and I want to create a file record.txt. Okay. Then I have asked the values from the user. Once I read the values. I show these values to the user and then we'll store this information in the object in the uh, file record.txt. To do this what I have done is this object name I have used followed by the arrow operators which are used in C out here. Okay, then the variable names like name, roll number and class is used. This endl represents the next line so the data is stored in the uh, one line at a time. After writing the data I have closed the file. Let's see here. So once I do this, a file is opened like this record file. Okay, but there is no data. And when I run the program, this output is here. Okay. And this output is stored in the file using this 15th, 16th and 17th line execution. So this is the program of writing the data. Uh, I'll show you how it works. I have already written this program to save some time. Okay, and uh, if you see the uh, directory where this program is stored, you cannot see a record file here. Okay, so if I run this file and enter some values like 12, sorry, uh, 10, just a second, I have to. Re execute this program. So the name is Joe, roll number is 12, and class is 12th. Okay, and once this program executes, you will see in the background there is a new file record.txt which is created just now, and the information that you have typed is stored here. So if the file is the, if the file does not exist, then the uh, off-stream object will open it for you guys. Now let's start with reading data in the files. So once I have stored the data in the record file, I can read the data from here using a stream. So almost same. 
first of all create the object then you can re read the value from these object files using value using this arrow operator which are used in C in or you can use functions like get line and get the, uh, this is a misprint here so these are these are get line and get and once you read the file you must close the file as well now if you are opening a file which does not exist in the background then this if stream will create display you an error message so you have to make sure that the file exists only then you will be able to read the data from here and if the file exists in the secondary memory the if stream class will open the file and the cursor will point to the first location from where you can read the data one by one so i have written this program for you guys again i have used three variables roll number name and class i will read these values from the file so for to do this i have opened the file record.txt then first line is is selected from the input file and the value is stored in the name then the next line data is stored in the roll number and then the next line data is stored in the class then i have displayed this information and closed the file so you see here file is open here then the data is read in the variables and then the program output is shown to you so let's see this program as well so this is the program of reading data let's compile and run and you see here this information is shown to you if i change this value using this write operation like i will compile the value again and i'll say do 22 and 10 and if you compile this read data file again you will see the information is displayed to you okay so this is that's it from this video uh, i have covered reading the data from a file i have covered the topic of writing the data in the file in the next video i will cover f stream uh, how to detect the end of the file and the file manipulator functions like seek g seek p tell g tell p so that's it from this video thank you very much for watching my video Please do subscribe and share my video and channel with your friends. Thank you very much. Cheers.